What's up, everybody? This is Al the Pile 78. Now, I'm going to do a stop on recording all my Mel's kitchen videos and stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to create an SSH key. I'm going to delete mine. And then since you're following the same thing, I'm also going to teach you how to do it with the, uh, what they call it, the Visual Studio version. I hope I could understand how to do it with the Visual Studio. So I'm going to show you both ways of doing it. I'm going to do it and then delete it and then do it again. And I don't know. First things first, we don't have an SSH key and we have to learn how to create one. So if you right click right here and then um, you know do something, okay. So we're gonna be generating an SSH key. Um, I have uh, the newer version and my stuff can, um, if you're not using legacy system, this, it does, it works with mine, okay. Let's <laughs> leave that, that. Uh, let's, let's open the uh, Git Bash right here. And let's let that be the first thing you want to do. Shift, insert, and then, um, you know, your email. Okay. We got a new key. Now, you could change the folder <laughs> if you want. But uh, I figured it out that it, every time it asks for your password and stuff, it's looking for it in this folder because it's defaulted to that folder. Now, I don't know, and I have tried to change which folder it was from. So that's one thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to press enter here and not mess with that. Our pass phase is going to be LOL. You do not have to put it. You do not need a pass phase at all. I recommend you making one and don't have to make it LOL. So what this did is it came over here, came to our C drive users, Big Dad, uh, well, whatever your user's name is, and it created an SSH key drive thing, Majiggy. All right, that's great. That's what we needed. So let's go. Oh man, why did I do that? <laughs> uh, let's see if it's up here as a fast way of getting to it. No, it's not. So let's go back the same way. Let's come in here now. I have it set up to all um, this publication one to always be open. Control A, Control C. Uh, we don't need that anymore. We come over here, we put a new SSH key. It could be called anything you want. Mine's just gonna be recalled that, Mel's Kitchen Key 3.0 or something like that. So I know where it belongs to. From there, I'm not pressing backspace now. I'm just gonna hit enter. This is your SSH key where, where I'm working. Now we're gonna create a new repository. We call it Melly, because that's her name. It my, I, I'm not, as you saw, we go back we go back here you saw i didn't do no public and no nothing crazy so let's go forward hopefully okay everything you need to know okay so let's clear this and um i'm gonna do what i need to do first first we need to go into the cd of what we're doing so dot net mel's kitchen so right here we need this so we come here we drop it off in there and then we press enter so it lets you drop it in there. That's pretty cool. As you can see, it worked. Now we have to put git in it. Okay. It initialized it and it made it master. So I'm going to change that to um, main because you have a main branch. That's it. And that's how they use it now. So I'm going to change that first there. Then we're going to do the rest of this stuff here. Um, well, I don't know why it has nothing in here, but let's see if we could um, copy all that. I, I could have just copy and paste. So it's gonna commit, use git add file to include in what will be committed. I'm gonna, um, I'm probably gonna commit most of that. I have to learn how to make a git ignore file as well. And um, let's see, in here we could, it says .NET, um, is it .NET get ignore or something like that? .NET get ignore or something like that? I don't know how it is. It's a it's a fancy way of doing it. You could make I'm doing an MVC project. Uh, let's see, is this is a default version. A oh, new get ignore. Okay, thank God I didn't press that. So .NET new get ignore. And I don't know what that's gonna create. So it should be in there. 
we should be in there. So we got the git going. All right, it created its own gits. I don't really touch this git stuff. So with the git ignore, let's see what's in it. Uh, let's just try notepad for now. So it has almost everything that you want to ignore. Um, I don't know which one it, it ignores, but it's gonna have it. So there you go. And the git is in here. So let's let's just get add everything. Let's get add. And as you can see, it's gonna add some stuff. And we're gonna commit again. So it knows what to commit. And it might say, oh, we already have one. So it's creating this git create mode. Um, I don't see git ignore yet in it. I might have messed that up. First commit, it main root, it knows that. It has a git ignore. So whatever needs to be ignored, it has it. And we don't have to worry about that as much anymore. Okay, let's come back over here. We got everything going on over here. Uh, like I said, I skipped that one and added it first. And now we're going to um, shift insert for the keyboard. And that worked. So it knows what to do. Now we have to do git push uh, u. And we're going to put origin and main. And let's see if that works. Uh, see, you see where it's going to look? We're going to click yes. Okay, and we're gonna click yes, type in yes. Okay, so yeah, so I don't know what these keys, this key is right here. So let's click yes. So look where it's gonna find it in. It's looking for it in here. If you try to do it anywhere else, you get crazy errors. So this worked and it made my life easy, okay? So that's that. Look at that, everything's in here. We got a get ignore thing. We got um, whatever we're supposed to have in here and that is everything. That's how you post it up here. Now I'm gonna redo it, okay? And then I'm gonna, after I redo it, I'm going to um, do it. Well, let's just redo it now. Let's delete all this again. I'm gonna just delete it like this. Control C, Control V. Now, I only deleted my uh, repository. So when we come back over here, in here, you see we still got this git right here, right? Now, you could delete it like that, but that's the wrong way to delete it. So I'm going to go try to find the right way. See this? This would delete everything, and then I do it again without the git. So um, it just makes sure everything from the top is deleted down. So I did that on purpose and I'm gonna exit out of here, exit out of here. And I'm gonna open this up and see if I can redo it. Cause if you have it already get um, the git stuff in it, when you click on here on git, <laughs> it already knows. Let's see if it already knows, we'll find out. Because we could delete the git, it should be like create a git repository. So let's do that. Um, local path on a name. Um, let it let it load up. A repository name. No kitchen nap and 3.0. We could do it like that. That's a warning. Yep, that sounds right. And the description. Um, friends site. Ba ba ba. Uh, it, we could make it non-private right here. And we could create and push, but what's the who's the owner? So how do we find that out? Um, it's like I don't know what to do. Where's the owner? All right. Um, sign in. There it is. Account. See. So let's go to GitHub and authorize GitHub. And I'm being redirected. It's successfully signed in. I've never done this before yet, by the way. Out of the Power Seven Eight GitHub. Out of the power of me, look at that awesome um, image of me. I'm looking amazing. <laughs> and friend site, and it's not private, so let's create and push. All right, it's. I believe it makes its own get ignore as well. I do not know. So, uh, yeah, but you see how you had to wait for the account, and that's how you know the owner was. There's no other owner. I'll get the organization that I have on mine for no reason. So let's just create and push that real quick. 
I don't know what's gonna happen. I never did this. I just thought it might be easier. Uh, it says it's finished in the bottom. So let's go back to here because you saw we deleted it. Let's refresh. And I got Mel's Kitchen app 3.0. And look at that. All my keys and everything is working. It got it got its own get ignore right here. It, it ignores what it wants to ignore. Now the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to keep this and I'm going to delete the git um because it created its own GitHub thing here too. Look. Uh let's see. Let's get you now. So it created its own git stuff here. And its own git and all and git attributes and stuff like that. So we could delete all that. Right? We're gonna delete all that stuff. We're gonna close this out. We're gonna delete this repository. And that's all I'm going to show you guys for now. And then I'm going to redo my repository. Uh, so if you follow me, you have everything I'm doing. And I'm going to start, you know, when I update it, I'm going to push this with this message to get um, stuff. But as you can see, we go to settings again. And we're going to delete this because I'm not going to let you guys see my... Um, um, <laughs> my keys i just showed you guys my keys so now you can do it from wherever you want so we're going to delete this key as well and um so you're going to see if you want to come to out of the power at github.com whatever um you would you will see me like right here like my profile this picture came out really really awesome that's the only reason i like it the background is amazing so yeah that's it and after that I'm going to just start working some more on this. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy.